Hey everybody, we're here with Dwayne Gowan. Um, he's a uh, the first Firefighter Friday that we're going to do. And basically, Mr. Dwayne here runs DBG Creations out of Noonan, Georgia. Is it Noonan or Sharpsburg? Where are we at? Noonan. Noonan. Yeah. All right, so we're down here in the shop, and uh, I just wanted to uh, get him on film and ask him a few questions about what he does, why he's on fire track, why he works on his days off, and uh, his career at the fire department. So, Dwayne, nice to see you. Nice to Thanks for having me. Nice to have you sure. on here. Um, so tell us a little bit about your company and uh, when it was formed and what all that you do for customers. All right, so my wife and I decided to, to start this company about five years ago now. Um, she needed a few things around the house. Um, I made them for her and we decided it would probably be a good idea to keep doing that and make some money. Um, she, what's, what's the first thing you made for your wife? Um, I believe it was a coat rack. Coat rack, all right. Yep, when we moved into this house, she needed a few things to hang on the wall, so I did that, took care of it. We decided to keep going with it. Um, this past year, we decided to go completely legit with it. Um, so we got a business license in the whole nine yards, and we're trying to take it a little further now. Sweet. Uh, tell me about the uh, the storefront you got there in Peachtree City. Uh, we're part of Heirloom Market. Um, if you're not familiar with it, it's a group of, of different vendors that come in and sell their, their mostly handmade products. Some of it's not handmade, but all of ours is. Um, so there's... I'm not even sure of the number of vendors, but there's a lot of people in there. they got a small bakery and a coffee shop downstairs. Okay. <clears throat> What's the most common items that you make here at DBG? Um, mostly um, fire department thing things. Um, we started off mainly making um, Maltese Cross door hangers. Um, I've got a ton of those under my belt. That's my wall of shame that you're looking at there. <laughs> what is a wall of shame? It sounds all, familiar with firehouse yeah, pressure washing. It's all my mess ups. I, all your mess. This doesn't look messed up. This looks it, great. Yeah, the stripes are wrong. Oh, the and stripes are the wrong. Top of it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. What about this one? Yeah, it's it's messed up in here. All the detail blew out. So I'm looking at these and they look awesome. They don't look messed up at all. But you're saying these are messed up. Yeah. I'm, and the the good ones are in the store. So guys, if you're looking at these and thinking they're awesome, these are the ones in his mind that don't look awesome and they're even more perfect in the store. And I can vouch for that. I've been to Heirloom Market and I've seen his work and I've actually stepped back and looked at other people looking at his work. And that's what's most impressive when you do like a secret shopper kind of deal. And I, uh, I stood there and watched other people admire his work. And, you know, this, this stuff right here is, uh, is pretty awesome. So Thanks, what else do you make besides uh, fire department um, aimed, you know, fire department related things? Uh, anything from, from furniture to decorations to hang on the wall there's really not a limit as to what what we can do here um, so it all depends on what people are looking for what they come to me with and we try to bring their ideas to a reality okay so what's common right now is the uh the door hangers that have the people's initials yeah. or has the people's last names and they're, they're all the monogram stuff. style letters what's it called monogram and you do a lot of that with the cnc machine yeah. right here right yeah. that's that's the reason we like i said we started off making the maltese door hangers um and i was using a scroll saw doing it all by hand and yeah. it would take about two hours per and at the, I had about 50 or 60 orders backlogged, and I realized I had to do something to, to take care of that or I was never going to stay in business. So I decided to spend the money on this thing, and, and it helped me out tremendously, um, pay for itself very quickly. And um, here, here we are. We're You're only as good as the tools you work with, right? Yeah, yeah. we try to invest with some quality tools. Um, um, you, you have to invest a lot in tools and equipment and materials are not cheap at all, um, especially when it comes to hardwoods and stuff like that. So... Um, you definitely have to charge for it. What's the, the thing you're most proud of as far as the products that you make? What what type of product is it that you make that you're most proud of every time it, it comes off the line here? It, it comes off the saw or whatever? Um, you know, patriotic stuff I, I have a passion for. You know, the the service-based service, service -based stuff I have a passion for. Um, I really enjoy seeing people's reactions when it comes to the like the 3D American flag that we've made that, that's all done by hand and you know the, the different service uh, flags that I cut on the machine. Um, I, I really enjoy making that stuff. So speaking of uh, patriotic stuff, what's your uh, what's your career in the fire department? Um, I work for Peachtree City Fire Department. I've been there for going on 10 years now, um, full time. This will be my ninth year. Uh, I'm currently serving as a lieutenant on uh, B shift. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Company officer. So, as Steve Jobs said, uh, if you want to be everybody's friend, sell ice cream, don't become a leader. <laughs> so, how are you doing with that right now? You've just going, been promoted, right? Yeah, yeah. I've been about six months now as a, as a lieutenant. And it's going well. I've got good crews. Um, 
got a good leader ahead of me, so it, it's it's really not any different than what I was doing. You ride on the ambulance or the fire truck mostly? Um, mostly on the ambulance right now. Okay. Um, as I'm a paramedic, we've got a, got a shortage going on, so we, we do what we have to do to, to take care of the citizens. Okay. Um, what's your number one goal being listed on fire track as a, uh, a woodworking professional within the app? You know, ultimately I want to be able to depend on this a little bit heavier than I do. Um, as a firefighter, we all have second jobs, you know, third jobs sometimes. Um, and we kind of knew that getting into it. So we come in with a game plan to make extra money on the side. And this, this turned out to be mine. Um, you know, right now I work for a firehouse. Pressure washing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, um, it helps out a lot. I love working there, um, but ultimately my goal is to make this where this is the only thing I have to do. Right. You know? The last question I got for you right now is what is your why? Why do you wake up in the morning and not only work a full-time career at the fire service and take all the classes you can, like wildland firefighter, um, structural fire control, fire officer, fire instructor, SWAT medic, why, you know, why do you subject yourself to all that and then come home and come down here into this awesome shop and uh, and work again. Why do you why do you feel the need to do that? What is your why behind working at DVG Creations and building your company up? Uh, you know, as far as the fire department goes, it's as cliche as it may be. Um, it, it's a passion. It has to be. Um, if if it is just a job to you, then uh, you're not going to get very far with it. It's going to drive you insane. So um, it truly is a passion. I love learning everything that I can about the job um, to make myself better and to help others. So uh, as far as the woodworking goes, um, I've always enjoyed making things. I've always been a little bit artistic. Um, so I enjoy coming down here. It's a huge stress reliever. Helps get my mind off the stuff that happened the day before, you know, be it good or bad. It's, it's always a help to come down here and focus on something completely different, you know, different topic. So it's good. Yeah, that's awesome. So if, uh, if our fire track clients that download the app for free and look for uh, door hangers or uh, you know patriotic flags, 3D flags, uh, wall decor, anything like that can find custom made products um, on your website or, or where, where would be the best place for them to see some of your work besides in the fire track app. So in the fire track app, you're going to have the opportunity to load up to 10 photos of your work and have it part of your bio. But if they wanted to, to look at you further, where, where would they go? You know, currently we don't have a, an actual website um, just because of the, the logistics of, of making it to where people can select a product and order it and you know pay through the website it's kind of a tall feat at this point so no e-commerce yeah. not, not, okay. not yet gotcha. um, yeah so, I totally understand that's so a lot, we, of, a lot we of work, work off of, mainly off of our Facebook page um, DVG creations Facebook yep okay yep so you can throw it in Google and it'll bring up that's the first response is, is my page on Facebook so um, what does DVG stand for it's my initials Dwayne right. Benson Gallon. Dwayne Benson Gallon Creations. Yep. Simple enough. Yep. So Google DBG Creations or simply just uh, you know, load up the Firetrack app, see your work, and what zip codes do you plan on servicing within the Firetrack app to uh, to distribute your work out? Uh, we're really not limited to if it's necessary for us to ship things, we can we can work that out. And if it needs to be shipped, the price will be adjusted, you know, take care of shipping, but we can absolutely handle that if it's not too big of an item. Sweet. Yeah. So so Not only are you going to service Sharpsburg, Newton, Sonoya, Peachtree City, Fayette County, uh, Coweta County, but the option is uh, to go on there and check out your work. And if somebody wants it shipped, you know, across the U.S. to a different state or anything else, you're able to do that. Absolutely, that's awesome. So, uh, so Dwayne here will be with DBG Creations within FireTrack as a nationwide vendor. Um, you know, that's your goal. But right now, we'll we'll baby step it up to that, and we'll get all the zip codes that he services where he can come meet you, or you can come. Uh, meet him or hit him up on Facebook and you know get your order ready and uh, we'll go from there. So that's one example of business growth, brother. Um, you know you're gonna sign up for the app and then you know hopefully we'll get you nationwide to where you can ship things. You know all of you know Texas, California, Ohio, wherever you uh, wherever you find some customers. I appreciate the opportunity. Yeah. Anything else you want to add? I don't think so. You good? I'm good. Dwayne's a little nervous to be on film. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do with his hands. I don't know what to do with my hands. Start crossing. That's, that's where we are. All right, Dwayne, well, I appreciate you, you appreciate know, it, letting me see your shop you. and yeah. showing me your C, uh, what is it called? CNC machine CNC. Yeah. and all the tools and everything. If y'all, you know, check out the pictures that I've spliced into this video, but he is super organized, like surgically organized, like an engineer would be as far as all this stuff. He's got, um, you know, the sawdust reclamation unit and everything else to make sure, you know, that he's, uh, that he's safe down here. And I've seen a lot of his work. I fully suggest you check him out, DVG Creations on Facebook or check him out within the Firetrack app. Uh, thanks for tuning in to Firefighter Friday, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.